Well, all week we have dedicated time to help you protect yourself from allergies. Yeah, and whether it's inside your home or, or outside, and the best way to do that is actually by tracking. Cheetah takes us behind the scenes with the Houston Health Department experts tracking allergy season year round. Pollen. I want to say it's this time of the year, but it is all year in Southeast Texas. You see the reports, you read the numbers in the categories, but how do we get these numbers? As a meteorologist, I can tell you about a wind shift or the change of pollen per season, but it really takes a microbiologist to break down the numbers. These are one of the big ones, these are cladospores. Enter Christina Oots from the Houston Health Department. So when I first get here in the morning, I get together a piece of film and I put a little bit of grease on it and then I go up to the roof where we have a machine that sucks in the air and that collects all the little particles in the air and I uh, make a slide out of it and then we put a little bit of dye on it and then I count it. I take my microscope and I literally count one by one each pollen or mold that I see. And it's a bunch of ascospores, cladospores, and basidiospores. And then at the end of my count, I will put them into a formula and then that formula gives me the exact amount that is per the cubic meter of air. Did you get that? Grains per cubic meter of air is how it's measured. That's why she needs the formula. We are dealing with microns. And by definition, a micron is a unit of length equal to one millionth of a meter. As to how she can tell the different pollen apart. Typically pollen is either clear or yellowish. Um, we use a dye that is pink to make them pink so that they're easier to identify because mold is also clear. And when I'm looking at a slide, I'm looking at pollen and mold. And so it's easier to identify the pollen if it's a different color from the mold. You know, guys, I don't know if you saw this, but she goes on top of the roof at the Houston Health Department to <laughs> survey the pollen. So when she takes her slide out, what's so interesting, and let's say from the naked eye, when you're yeah. looking at it, you wouldn't be able to tell the types of pollen. So once they stain the slide and then she puts it in, um, she's able to see, and, and we're talking micron, so it's yeah. so small. So when she, when she looks at it, it blows it up, and then you can see all these different uh, pollens and how they kind of form, what they look like, and they're all so different. Mm. It's just incredible to see. It's really interesting to see what a microbiologist does every day no. to survey cool. the pollen. It, what it we is, show you on TV. There's a lot that goes behind the scenes. It is so fascinating. It's hard to believe that we are halfway through our allergy week already and there is more to come tomorrow. Michelle Choi, uh, she's looking at allergy testing and if it's actually, it's actually worth it. For now though, Cheetah, how's the pollen count I know. looking right now? <laughs> Speaking of guys, well, you know what? Moderate levels, it's not bad with the tree and the grass. I do think with the winds so breezy today, I bet the survey that's done around 10, 10, 30. Good old Christina will be doing it at the Houston Health Department in the lab there. Um, when we show that tomorrow, I think we'll start to see some of these levels shoot up just a little bit. But as far as today goes, low levels with your ragweed. That's always what gets me. Low levels with your mold spores. But again, the grass and the tree, mainly the, the hickory and the pecan there. So anyways, very interesting. Thanks to the Houston Health Department for letting us kind of see inside their world for just a little bit. I'll send it over to you. That is